He's the editor-in-chief of the Daily Wire, syndicated columnist and host of The Ben Shapiro Show. Ben, what, was your, what are your thoughts? When did you hear that he was going to do this? Oh, I had heard actually sort of off the radar last week, uh, and I'd kept it under wraps. I was pretty excited about that. It's obviously an act of not only political bravery, but moral courage to move the, the embassy. But, but just to recognize Israel as Jerusalem is Israel's capital, the absurdity of the U.S. policy suggesting that Jerusalem was not Israel's capital has resulted in idiocies like the fact that my niece, who was born in Jerusalem, it says on her passport Jerusalem, and then it doesn't say which country she's from. Jerusalem is only important to the world because of Judaism. It's important to Christianity because it was first important to Judaism. It's important to Islam because it was first important to Judaism. Jerusalem is mentioned hundreds of times in the Jewish text. Jerusalem is in the, is in the Israeli national anthem. The culmination of Jewish history really was in 1967 with the recapture and the unification of, Judea, of Jerusalem under Judea rule. Uh, the freedom of Jerusalem was only assured, by the way, because of that Jewish rule. What, what President Trump is doing is not just a recognition of reality, it's also uh, an act of, of political usefulness, because all of the negotiations that have been happening for the last 20 years, for most of my lifetime, all of those negotiations have been preconditioned on stupidity, that Israel is going to give up its eternal capital, which is insane. I mean, in order to understand how dumb that is, you have to think that for Israel, Jerusalem is about a thousand times more important than Washington, D.C. is to the United States. I mean, the founders put Washington, D.C. on a swamp because they just wanted it to be not part of any state. The, the reason that Jerusalem is where it is is because the Bible says it is where it is. There's a religious adherence to Jerusalem that doesn't exist for normal capitals oh. around the world. And for President Trump to recognize that this isn't going anywhere, that the freedom of Israel is, in, is just inherently connected with the freedom of Jerusalem, and that any negotiations that are to take place are going to have to be done by the Israelis themselves, and the Israelis are going to have to make decisions about what to do with their capital. Well, it's, a, it's a ground shift, and it's a recognition of a reality that's necessary in order for real peace to be achieved in the region, not based on right. false stupidities that have been promulgated for the all last right, couple so, of decades. So they have six months to actually do it. Uh, they have a six-month way to actually do it. Monday was the deadline to actually make the announcement. So today, we're going to get it today officially at 1 o'clock. But it will remain a divided city. That won't change. Does that bother you? Well, I mean, it will remain a divided city because the fact is that the, the authorities have basically allowed uh, terrorism to, to spread among the Palestinians, and East Jerusalem has largely been, been occupied by the same people it's been occupied poor for, for the last seven decades, namely uh, Muslim, Muslims who live there. Uh, that, that part of the city is very dangerous. It's, it's been very dangerous ever since I can remember long before I was born. Uh, the fact is that when I visited Israel for the first time when I was 16 years old, Israeli soldiers had to guard us as we came out of the tunnels under the Western Wall into East Jerusalem, which again, the capital of Israel, if you are a Jew and you walk into East Jerusalem, your life is in danger. If you're an Arab and you walk into West Jerusalem, there's no problem at all, which signifies exactly why Jerusalem should be under Jewish control and not under Muslim control.